Hey guys, welcome back. Lately, we have not been making that many reviews because, well, we've been busy lately. And, um, I'm supposed to be next for the next di movie review. Um, I'm the last one that needs a Christmas movie, right, guys? Yeah, we're gonna do a winter one for me. So keep on voting down there. I've been seeing you guys vote. Um, I saw, um, Snow Dogs on there, right, guys? Yeah, we saw that. We saw um, Snowball Express, so it's tied right now. So if you guys want to break that tie, please go down and vote for that. It would be really, really appreciated if you did. So please give me an idea of what I should do and see, because i like to know. Anyway, today we're going to review, we're going to review Elemental for you guys. We haven't really got a chance to do that yet. We like to keep a date with many different movies, and Disney's as well. Some of them have been saying that they're bad, but we have mixed reviews on them. And for us, we want to talk about our review of Elemental, because we have a different opinion about it. And, well, also, we want to do the same with Wish as well when we see Wish. Right, guys? We should do. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, let's just say people have been, um... Skeptical at Disney lately. We want to change. We want to change a little bit of that feeling aspect of that, and give a more positive intake on Disney ourselves. We do more recent movies as well. Tell us in the comments below what you, whether movies you want us to review next. Anyway, with that in mind, let's look at Elemental. The story. The story is simple as anything. It's a story of a romance of some sorts between. Between Amber, the fire, the fire character, and and Wade, the water character. These two characters come together two different ways in the most special way possible. Let's look into each of the characters themselves. The story, let's talk about the A story. The A story is about Amber, who tries to live up to her parents. Her father owns a little shop. That she that he attends to let her her daughter take over eventually, which is Ember. Overweighted by these expectations of hers, she really wants to keep the family business going, even though it's so hard. She also wants to do some. She also finds other talents that she has that Wade kind of supports. In a way, she finds other ways to make herself known. She finds that maybe she might want to do something else for a change instead. And so, we find that maybe Amber might want to do something else. She explores herself a little bit more as the story goes on. She might not want to take over the family business, but wondering if she could still hold that out for her parents. As for Wade, it seems like the story is more around Amber than it is with Wade, but I will shed a light on him as well. Wink, wink. Anyway... Wayne is a happy-go-lucky guy, but mostly he's also very sensitive. Every now and then he'll cry about something, but he also is very supportive. For a character like him, there's not much to him, but there is some aspects, like his parents are going for some hard troubles, and many other things like that. But as a character, he is very supportive, and he also tries to keep a happy tone with everything. But he struggles to find a job and everything else. When he finds out that his job with the, um, when he finds out about Amber and her business, he tries to shut it down, but he tries to talk, but Amber tries to talk her, talk it over with him first. Unfortunately, to keep Wayne's job up, Amber and, and, and Wade have to try to figure out how to keep his job and how to keep the water from flowing in. I won't take I won't say much about what happens in the story, but there is a bit of a mystery to it. It's sort of like Zootopia, some people said, but I don't really see that. I feel like this movie has its own charm. Sure, it's a little bit like Zootopia, but it's not like what Zootopia is. Zootopia is more like a mystery type of story. Elemental's more of the insight of the love and the and the character triangle that El that Wade and Ember share. In the beginning of the movie, we see the parents coming in on a boat. Sort of like if they were immigrants. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Anyway, 
That's the story. I think it's really good for the most part. I know some people have seen love stories before, but to be honest, I haven't seen one in a long time, especially with nowadays like this. Like, we don't like, we ever, in character love story, we don't get to see the, we, it's the first time we ever get to see a character fleshed out like this, like the, like the girl and the, and the boy. Usually the girl is on the wayside, and it's more about the boy than anything else. But now we get to see both sides in this movie, and I think it's really awesome. I find it really, 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 really good in that way. We actually have to learn about these two characters the best way we can. Nowadays, you really need to learn characters like this. And take more interest in them. Love has changed a lot lately. And I like to see more aspect of that more. And when it's a movie like this, we kind of need it. People don't realize how much we need this kind of thing. I like how Wade is so supportive. And Amber is so... More better troubles, but they work it out together. The characters. The characters, like Wacko said, are amazing. Wade is very supportive, and he has his own troubles as well. It's not like he's not perfect, but he has his importance. He also tries to get he also tries to get Ember to try things. Like to to fall in love and stuff like that. It's very real, in a way, that it connects to all of us when we're falling in love. Right, Dot? <laughs> yeah. And us with Hello Nurse. <laughs> anyway, it's just very real. And it relates to a lot of people in that way. Who People who are starting to fall in love. Or people that just don't know. It's just in a very positive and very real way of showing that. Those characters are really good. Ember likes to try to do different things. Is kind of trial with herself. Trying to different things, but still is also. As her mother, she is really funny. Amber struggles throughout the entire movie with this type of idea, but she tries her best, and she struggles with the uh, to come up with the family business. But she also wants to find herself and what she wants to do in life. Let's talk about her parents. Her mother is very funny. She is basically like a love um, predictor. She takes love's pawns and predicts if whoever she's going to love and fall in love with her or whatever. If their love is strong. She does the same with Amber and Wade. And it turns out they are, they are a match. Very interesting. But it does it in a very clever way. And I won't give it away for you. But anyway. Um, this is really a good character. Another character that is in here is also um, this little boy. He doesn't really appear much. But he's kind of like Amber's like love interest uh not really he's just a kid that just has a thing for him for her i guess i, don't, I can't believe they still had characters like that in movies i never was really, really fond of any of those characters i thought they were kind of gross because they're younger than they are i get it but it's just kind of weird to me i kind of glance over that but whatever he's a cute character i guess and he doesn't really he doesn't really does two different scenes he'll just back off after a while and you got the father, who is pretty interesting. He's very supportive, and he tries to get Ember to work on the family project. But at the same time, you get the sense that he knows what his what his daughter wants, and he's not too bad to show it. Like he's a good parent, and in the end, he has his interest at heart. Anyway, there's a bit in the story where there's where their parents do not like water people because of something that happens, but we won't find. I won't say anything as a spoiler, but anyway, there's a development issue of the water people. They mess around in the store. I think that's why they hate, like, they hate them. But later on, we find out that, well, we just sort of like them. And we learn to accept them in the end. Going on throughout the story, there seemed to be, a, there seemed to be like a intention in that. And I won't give away much away, but there's a reason why they left their town as well. The animation. The animation is, like, very surprisingly good in this. For Pixar, it is definitely the same as it used to be, but only better. I like all the clever things they do with this particular movie, with the water and the fire. It's really awesome how much they put into this movie and how clever it can be with the fire and the water. I had no idea that fire could make crystals and stuff. That's really cool. I had no idea that water could reflect fire. That was really cool, too. I like that whole idea aspect. It was, like, super cool the way they did it. I think I love that. And I like how they connected everything together as an element. As an element. Oh, and fun fact about this movie. 
it's based on a true story, sort of. Really? Well, it's based on the animator's life. You see, it's sort of like it's sort of like Luca in Turning Red, where it's based off of the animator's story, but minus the part about them being elemental. Instead, the genders are swip the switched. The animator is a man who um, was judged by the expectations of his parents, who decided to become an animator instead. Just like in the story, where Amber was creativity in many different things. And she ended up being somebody of her own. Yeah. Very similar idea. Yeah, I just noticed many of these Pixar movies end with them leaving. Hmm. Very interesting. Not that there's a bad ending or anything, but it's just interesting. Maybe we should talk about that in endings in movies at some point. Yeah, maybe we should. Anyway... Anyway, I would like to I would like to talk about um many different things about this book and not even movies and stuff. This animation is really awesome. Overall, Elemental is a very good movie. I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to watch a relaxing little movie. I think it's a fun romance film. But if you're not into romance, then don't watch it. But I think it's a cute movie for you to watch. And that is all for now. We'll see you next time. Bye!